Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today's video I am going to be talking about my travel brushes. The three brushes, and you'll see me kind of sketch them on the page for you, but the three brushes that I'm going to be talking about are a Rosemary & Co. Dagger, an Escoda Synthetic, and it's going to be a size 4, and then the Silver Black Velvet, and that is also a size 4. The first brush that I wanted to mention is a silver black velvet. It is a size 4 round. That is my personal favorite. Um, it retails for $18.50 and it is a mix of squirrel and synthetic. The thing that I love the most about this brush is that it holds a lot of liquid and it releases it evenly when you're painting. The synthetic blend helps resist wear, but also goes back to its original shape because squirrel hair is pretty soft, so the synthetic helps it um, kind of like spring back. This brush is good for layers because it's soft and doesn't disturb the previous layer, but it's also firm enough to lift color uh, with a gentle scrub. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this brush is the construction of it, I would say. Uh, when I cap the brush, sometimes well, after a while of having the brush and using it, the cap isn't secure. It doesn't stay tight on um, when I close it or when I post it. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. The next brush that I'm going to be talking about is a Rosemary & Co. Dagger brush. Technically, it's an R12 on their website. It is a size 1 4th inch and it is a blend of sable and nylon. The whole reason I really wanted to get this brush is because I was told it uh, is a dream for urban sketchers and plein air must have, so I thought this would be the perfect brush for me. So my expectations were pretty high. I thought maybe this could be my go-to brush. However, I am so used to the rounds that this brush has been more difficult to use. For me, there has just been a big learning curve. Um, I'm starting to get used to it, and I really enjoy the fact that you can get a really nice big wash and then also have that point for really fine details. The next brush that I'm gonna talk about is the Escoda Prado. It is a synthetic sable, and the one I purchased is a size 4 round for $23.36. The construction of this brush is the same as a Rosemary & Co. It is fantastic. I do not have any slippage when you're capping it or when you're posting it, so that's why I really like it. I chose this brush because it is all synthetic, so for those of you that aren't into animal hair brushes, this would be the brush for you. It not only looks like sable, but it acts like sable too. It absorbs water and paint really well, but the spring back to its original shape is just fantastic. It works amazingly. There is one other brush that I want to talk about that I do not have. Um, I'm actually getting it as a gift for my birthday, uh, provided by my parents, so thank you mom and dad. But it is the Escoto Ultimo. It is a synthetic squirrel. So I am hoping that this might replace my silver black velvet considering I'm not a fan of the construction of the brush itself but it like I said it's a synthetic squirrel so it's really soft like squirrel it holds liquids really well and um, it's going to provide that like smooth wash so when I get that I will be showing it to you but for right now I don't have it um, what I am doing is I'm painting these up and I will make sure to paint the actual brush with the brush if you get what I'm saying I will also have all these links and um, any information in the description box for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and until next time everybody, I'll see ya.